What's good with y'all, Scarps? This is Scorpionic Sag, North the Rise of Terror and Tensa. Welcome to the channel. And go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to leave me a donation. Have a donations link in the description box below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Shout out out there to all my new subscribers. Thank y'all very much for joining my channel. Uh, this is going to be how do they see you? Okay? How does this person see you? The person that you're dealing with or somebody that you can have your mind on or you can have a crush on somebody. I finally something different for once. Hopefully, they don't give me red wings, huh? <laughs> we want to fly. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go ahead and knock out this read. What do we have for Scorpio, November 2020, Holy Spirit? How does this person see Scorpio? How does this person see Scorpio? This one of the fly out. Defensive, stand your ground. Resisting. That's not the original card, though, but let's see. How does this person view Scorpio? Ooh. Hmm. How does this person view Scorpio, Holy Spirit? How does this person view Scorpio? Give it one more shuffle. Let's see. <clears throat> How does this person view you, Scorpio? Why is this camera? Hold on. There we go. How's this person view you? They view you as somebody that is fearful of commitment. Okay? That's immediately what I'm picking up on. Now, the storylines could change because this is indeed one card, okay? You can't really get much from one card, but I immediately pick up on this person could see you as fearful of commitment, like you don't want to get betrayed, okay? That's immediately what I'm picking up on. Fix this camera. All right, there we go. This person sees you in this energy, this mental confinement, but I immediately get from this card what speaks to me is you having a fear of commitment, okay? A fear of wasting your time. And they pick up on it. They picking up on it. They could tell that you're scared that you're scared that they're going to betray your trust. That's what I'm picking up on. They don't view you in, in that in a bad type of way. It's just they see that in you. Fear of commitment. Okay? Now, you could be loyal, but at the same time, they view you as somebody that don't really want to commit because of not trusting. Major trust issues. They probably reassure you a lot of times, too, okay? That's another thing that's coming through to me. They probably reassure you plenty of times. Or it doesn't have to be. But there's a reason why they see you in this energy right here, okay, which is the uh, the Eight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you could be dealing with one of those signs. What else do we have for the Scorpio? Let's see. The Star card, Aquarius energy. Um, they see you as their wish fulfillment. They do. They see you as their wish fulfillment. This person thinks highly of you. They do. They see you somebody that shines different than everybody else, Scott. Even though you may have this fear of commitment. What's up, Britt? Let's go with you, Scott. But, uh, anyways, this person does see you as being fearful of commitment because of betrayal. But they also see you as somebody that shines different than the rest. 
Like you're a completely different breed of spirit than the rest of the people that they have ever dealt with. Because a star energy is a kick-ass card. All right. Some of y'all can have Aquarius in y'all chart, Scorpio. Um, or, or they could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Shout out out there to the Aquarians, by the way. Y'all are kick ass. I'm just going to put that out there. Aquarius are really cool, bro. I get along with Aquarius. Okay. They're, they're another misunderstood sign. I know this is a Scorpio video, but still, though. Shout out to the Aquarius, man. So if you're a cross-watch Aquarius, shout out to you. Anyways, um, this person sees you as somebody that shines different than the rest. You know, they see you as somebody that, that it's like you just stand out, Scott. You stand out. The star energy is all about standing out. It could stand for wish fulfillment, but they see you as somebody that shines different than the rest. Very unique type of person. But they also see you as somebody that is fearful of commitment. Not that you wouldn't commit to them or break a commitment. You just don't want to get in that energy because of being betrayed so many times. That's immediately what I'm picking up on. But they also see you as somebody that shines different than the rest. What else do we have for Scar Holy Spirit? They see you being defensive because of this. They see you being defensive. They are, I can interpret it this way. They can see that you stand hard for something in your life. They can see that you stand up against a lot of people out there. You stand up for what you believe in. You stand up for your beliefs. That's what makes you shine like that because you stand up for what you believe in. They see you as a person that has no problem with making it on their own. Yet at the same time, you stand hard in what you believe in. You will fight for what you believe in. And that's what brings you in the star energy. That's why they see you as that person. Very unique individual. Let's see what else we have. They also see you as adventurous. You can bring a lot of adventurous energy to their life. Like, you're very spontaneous, Scar. This person can see you as a spontaneous individual. Like, you're fun to be around. You bring a lot of mystery. There's a lot of mystery. You could be in one minute and out the next, but it's not in a way to betray them. It's like they can't predict you. I get from this card right here, unpredictability. That's what makes things exciting. Let's see. They also see you as somebody that is a breath of fresh air from the Ace of Pentacles because this is all about a new beginning. But they can see you as somebody that's stable. A breath of fresh air, that's immediately what I get. That's the words that come through to me. A breath of fresh air from being so different than everybody else. I guess so, that star energy right there. See, it's starting to make sense. You're adventurous. You bring a hell of a lot of unpredictable energy in their life, but at the same time, it's intriguing. When you can't figure something out, that's what makes it exciting. But they also, you know what I'm saying? They also see you in that, that fear-like energy. But at the same time, they think very highly of you. Okay, this is how they see you. They see you as a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. Stable, dependable, reliable. It's like the grass on the other side. It, the grass on the other side isn't fertilized with bullshit. This is the real deal. That's what I'm getting from this, this car. Look, you see right here? This is the real deal. It ain't fertilizer bullshit. This is the real deal that they're dealing with. Solid. Pinnacle energy is all about earth element, and the earth is solid. See what I'm saying? Very solid.
They could see you as a person that ain't afraid to walk away at the same time. Uh, this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn, by the way. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Eight of Cups. They could see you as somebody that ain't afraid to walk away. Like if your cup ain't there, if your cup ain't being fulfilled the way it's supposed to be, they see you walking away. Like you ain't afraid to turn your back. But at the same time, you have that eight of swords energy there. But I immediately pick up on like you fear of wanting to trust them. This right here, I immediately get that they pick up on, they see you as a person that's not afraid to walk away. Because this is about walking away, turning your back. They also see you as a person that could bring a lot of balance in their life. A lot of balance. This person could be a Libra, or you could have Libra in your chart. You could also have Cancer and Pisces in your chart, too. Okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, y'all could have those signs. What I called out in the spread, y'all could have those signs in your chart. This person sees you as somebody that you bring a lot of a balance in their life. A lot of balance. You know your shit. When it comes to things. Because this right here, I could I could get a judge energy out of this. Because this is you could also see it as the legal justice system. Okay? I'm not saying they see you like that, but a judge, they make the law. Okay? This person could look up to you as a leader. Laying the law down. Don't necessarily have to be for the law law, you know what I'm saying? Just a relationship law. Laying the law down. This is how it's gonna be, and if I ain't getting it, I'm gonna walk away. If I'm not going to be respected, if I'm not going to be treated right, I'm going to walk away. Let's see. They also see you as somebody that, uh, how can I interpret this three of wands energy? This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh. They can also see you as somebody that has a lot of directions in their life. A lot of directions. Like you want to go a lot of directions. They see. They also see you as somebody that waits. What's up, Nurse Mom Nani? What's good with you, Scar? They also see you as somebody that Has a lot of patience. You have a lot of patience. And it's like. You sit there. You observe. You analyze. You sit there. You observe. It's like. You don't wait around for the wrong reasons. But. This is all about waiting on the ships to come in. You can see. In the background. They got the ships back there. Waiting on the ships to come in. They can see you as somebody that. Just doesn't run. It's, it's hard. It's, it's hard to interpret this card with, with how they see you. I'm just going based off of intuition, but it's kind of hard to read this energy right here. I'm having a little bit of problems with this card for some odd reason, and of course, it's the card that's bent too, with a whole line in the middle. As I say, boundary. <laughs> that's right, boundary. Or it could, hold on, hold on. There's a reason why I said boundary. Maybe they could see you as somebody that has boundaries up. You know what I'm saying? They don't necessarily have to go for that because I'm sure the meaning of this card is way different. It is way different than that. But somebody that can have boundaries. It's just hard to read this card, y'all. Like I could read each and every one of these other cards, but this one, I'm just having trouble for some odd reason. I'm going to go ahead and pull more cards. 
How does this person see Scorpio Holy Spirit? Somebody that is secretive. Somebody that is mysterious. And somebody that is highly spiritual. You give off this air of mystery about you. This is all about being secretive, okay? Being spiritual, secretive, highly in tune with spirituality, etc. I see you as somebody being spiritual, but also secretive. But I'm going to give the cross watcher something, okay? Some advice. Just because a Scorpio can be secretive, they don't use that secretive nature in a dark type of way. They're not hiding secrets from you as the meaning betray you, okay, it's nothing like that, Scorpio has just remained closed off because of trust issues, it can stem back to this, they don't like revealing much, okay, once they know that they can trust you and you go by your word, then the Scorpio may open up, you're just gonna have to give them time, okay, you're just gonna have to give your Scorpio some time, they're not secretive in the wrong way, in the wrong type of reasons or have ill intentions toward you, if you're dealing with evolved Scorpio, you're dealing with somebody that's very dependable and reliable. They're not secretive for the wrong reasons. They mainly keep their past to themselves. What they went through. But it's never for the wrong reasons. Okay. But this can also stand for spirituality. Okay. Being mysterious. Hard to read. That's another thing that I'm getting. It's hard, it's hard to read you, Scar. It's hard to read you with this high priestess. Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Somebody that is about wisdom. Somebody that is about knowledge. Somebody that is about just spiritual. A spiritual person, but also secretive. Very closed off. Like It's like they see you as somebody that knows a lot, but you keep to yourself. Very observant, observant, analyzing. They also see you as somebody that holds back a lot. You hold back a lot, but you're also strong as a motherfucker. This right here speaks to me in a man, a very powerful manner. The strength card, they see you as somebody that's stronger than a motherfucker, Scorpio. But yet you hold a lot back from being secretive. See what I'm saying? You hold a lot back. You hold back a lot. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Somebody that is highly intuitive. Because this could stand for deception too, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. This could stand for deception, but I get intuition, okay? This is all about intuition. All right? They see you as somebody that's highly intuitive. You have you have the, uh, the high priestess and you also have the moon card together. That stands for intuition, okay? Being spiritual. This is about spirituality, but this is also about intuition. Being highly intuitive. Keeping a lot to yourself. Not revealing much. To where it could come to the light. Not for the wrong reasons. But you simply keep a lot to yourself. Hidden underneath the surface. It's underneath the exterior. You can also give this person an energy to where. They feel like you hiding something in the wrong type of way. But it's not nothing like that. Okay. Because you can see these cards surrounding this spread. Okay. But this person could probably get thrown off a lot by your energy, by you being hard to read. But at the same time, it's not in a bad way. It's just about keeping stuff to yourself. Okay? But being highly intuitive at the same time. You have the high priestess, which stands for intuition, psychic powers. You also have the moon card, which stands for intuition. Okay? You have both of the intuition cards right here. Highly intuitive. Highly intuitive. What else do we have for Scarp? How does this person see Scarp, your Holy Spirit? They see you as somebody that can own up to when they're wrong. You can apologize whenever you're wrong. Okay? They see you as somebody that is reliable when it comes to taking responsibility. 
that's immediately what I'm getting. They see you as somebody that is reliable when it comes to taking responsibility. Okay? Like you own up to things. You're like, look, here. This is what it is. So what I immediately get from this spread, Scott, which I went over each and every one of these cards. What I get from this spread right here, they see you as somebody that shines different than the, than the average person out there. They see you as somebody that shines different, that you're very unique. Um, even though you may be in this fearful like energy of commitment because you fear betrayal. They see you as somebody that stands hard and what they believe in. You're very adventurous. Uh, you're a breath of fresh air to them. You're not afraid to turn your back on a situation if it's not going to serve you for your highest good. You bring a lot of balance to this person's life. You have boundaries set. You have a lot of directions you want to go in life because you choose to go by your intuition. You choose to listen to your intuition. Okay, so they see you as a highly spiritually evolved individual that is strong, intuitive once again. And it's reliable and dependable when it comes to taking responsibility for your actions. So that's what I have for y'all, Scarps. How your person sees you. Okay?